Hello students, welcome back to your science class and today we will know more about why do we need a skeleton. As I told you in earlier classes that skeleton is a hard strong structure or a frame from the inside of our body. The skeleton supports our body internally and gives a proper structure or shape to different parts of the body. They also act as a protecting cage or a protecting layer outside the different organs like the skull. The entire skull is designed to protect our brain, our eyes, nose and the mouth region. There are bones which are joined to the skull like the jawbone which articulates or moves to help us talk. So this is the function of the entire skull bone. One, it protects and two, helps us move our jaw. Next is the neck bone. A neck bone generally has seven bones. All vertebrates have seven bones. So this neck bone joins the backbone to the end of the head and runs throughout the body. It supports the entire vertebral column which holds the ribs and the shoulder bone and the arm bone. So all these bones are joined together and give structure to our chest and also protect organs like lungs, heart and the diaphragm. Then in the hip region you can see the hip bones. These help you to sit down and also protect your kidneys and liver. Your arms are supported by the arm bone and legs are supported by the leg bone. Your fingers are articulated. There are so small tiny bones in your hands which have which are designed to move so that we can do our work. Like this the skeleton supports our body from the inside and also gives it a proper shape. There are certain bones that are soft bones seen in the region of ear, your nose and in between joints. These are called as cartilages. These also help in the flexibility of the bones. You can move your ears and feel the ear bone which is soft but still stiff enough to give your body a shape. So the primary function of bones is to support you and give a shape to the body and to move your body in different ways. The next thing that we should know is do skeletons grow? The answer is yes, skeletons do grow. As we are born, we have softer bones. As we grow, they also grow along with us and support our body. Here is a small activity to check how bones grow. You can use a measuring tape to conduct this experiment. Using a measuring tape, you can measure the bones of your baby sister or baby brother, you and your parents. Then you can see the size. The difference in size shows that as we grow, our skeletons grow too. But skeletons do stop growing after certain age. As we grow, as we become adults, after certain age of around 18 to 20, our bones stop growing. We attain a height as we are designed to and after that our bones stop growing. That is when they say we have attained adulthood. Can you guess what this image is showing? Yes, this is an X-ray. X-ray captures the image of our bones inside and let us know if we have any damage or break caused due to accident. X-rays help us detect broken bones. So that when a doctor observes the x-ray, he can diagnose it and fix it with the help of casts or plasters. What are x-rays? X-rays are special radiation waves that can pass through our muscles but cannot pass through our bones. Hence help us capture the image on a sheet that is an iodine sheet which captures the image of our bones and help us detect if any damage is caused to the bone internally. Now let us know how do doctors mend broken bones. Broken bones are meant 
by applying cast or plaster around the broken region. These cast or plasters hold the bone in a particular shape for a long period of time. This helps the bones to join back and come back to its original shape. This is how cast help fix the broken bone. This was all about skeletons, bones, fractures and x-rays. Let us now more, know more about invertebrates. So let us now know more about the invertebrates. In the first class, I had told you about two special classes that is vertebrates and the invertebrate. What are invertebrates? Invertebrates are animals which have a hard coat or a shell covering the body from outside like insects like cockroach, housefly, butterfly, shelled animals like snails, starfishes, crabs and soft bodied animals like mollusks. Let me explain you about invertebrates in another way. Invert, the word invert means inside out. So what is inside the vertebrates? In invertebrates, it is you can see it outside. Hence, they are called as invertebrates. Like we vertebrates are supported by skeleton from the inside. These invertebrates are supported by a hard coat, shell or a skin from the outer side. These hard coat or shell are similar to the skeleton inside. They are also made of calcium and they are also hard. Some animals like snails use this hard shell as their home or retract their entire body and sit inside the shells. Some animals use this hard shell as wings. Insects like cockroach, housefly and butterflies have this shell or hard coat outside their body as wings which help them fly. Animals like jellyfish or squids do not have hard core or hard shell or any coat outside but in the environment in which they live they are soft bodied animals which do not need any kind of hard coat or skin to protect their body from the outside. They live deep in the ocean or sea and protect themselves by living in the darkness. Yes, this was all about vertebrates and invertebrates. Hope you understood these interesting facts about vertebrates and invertebrates. Thank you.